Hi, I'm Greg Risto, Artistic Director of Encore Vocal Arts, and this is the plot of Dido and Aeneas in 60 seconds flat. Aeneas is the Trojan man, a buff hot warrior. He survives when the Greeks sack Troy and flees to found a new empire, which will eventually become Rome. He aims for Italy, but a storm sent by evil witches makes him crash into hostile territory, the Queendom of Carthage, basically where Tunisia juts out towards Italy. Our opera begins. By the way, this all takes place a good 2,800 years ago. Dido built Carthage from scratch after fleeing her evil brother King Pygmalion of Tyre, that's Tyre with a Y, who killed her husband for his wealth. Aeneas and Dido really get each other. They've both had to flee their homeland. They're both trying to get kingdoms off the ground. And did I mention they're both famously beautiful? So instead of fighting, and though Dido had rejected other suitors to mourn the loss of her husband, she lets herself be wooed by Aeneas, and they have a love affair, which, according to Virgil, lasts exactly one very torrid year. The witches who hate happy endings plot to pit Aeneas' duty to his country against his love for Dido. They send their elf disguised as the god's messenger Mercury to tell Aeneas he must leave Dido immediately to found a new Troy. Aeneas commands his ships readied, and when he tells Dido the gods told him to break up with her, she's understandably skeptical and furious. At her tears, he decides to stay with her, but she's done with him after what she thinks was a fabulous lie. "'Tis enough that you had once the thought of leaving me,' she cries. "'Away, away!' And when he goes, she kills herself." Timeless Love, Henry Purcell's Dido and Aeneas, Saturday, November 16th at 8pm at Marion University. Tickets at EncoreVocalArts.org.